Hi, and welcome to another episode of Broadcasting Northwest Florida. I'm Jennifer Conley with Florida's Great Northwest, and I'm thrilled to have Danielle Ruiz, Senior Manager of Economic Development with Duke Energy joining us today. Duke Energy serves much of Florida, but specifically in Northwest Florida, they serve um, several of our counties to the east. So Danielle, I'd love to hear more about the things that you're doing in Duke's uh, service area and learn more about the economic development efforts that you are doing. Thank you for having me, Jennifer. And I'm honored to be a board member with Florida's Great Northwest and excited to share a little bit more about what we do in the Florida's Great Northwest region. Duke Energy, as you mentioned, serves 35 counties throughout Florida. Three of those counties are in the eastern portion of the Panhandle in Florida's Great Northwest coverage area. Those counties are Gulf, Franklin, and Wakulla County. Many of these counties are rural in nature with deep history and industrial operations. We're building on the strong attributes available, including their coastline asset, assets, which with direct water access for movement of goods via the port, rail assets, as well as highway systems from coastline to Interstate 10 for shipping of products via truck. We have three pillars to our Duke Energy Economic Development Program. One being product development, which is our site readiness program. That program started in 2005, and it's really to identify, assess, and evaluate industrial properties throughout our service territory. Our business recruitment team is five individuals focused on target industry sectors, promoting our six state footprints uh, assets and recruiting new businesses to the area. Lastly, our economic development efforts are really working in partnership with local, regional, state economic development councils, developers, real estate brokers, those affecting businesses' decisions, and ultimately bringing the project to a win in our Duke Energy Service territory. We're offering energy efficiency programs, competitive rates through our economic development riders, offering discounts of up to five years for companies creating new jobs and capital investment in our communities. So Danielle, one of the sites that I know you have been working uh, tirelessly on um, to get it to a point of uh, project ready status is one in Port St. Joe. Can you share a little bit of um, information about that site for us? Sure, we call that the St. Joe site and that did go through our site readiness program. After it was identified through something called the Strategic Sites Inventory Program, which is a geospatial analysis of attributes and vulnerabilities of properties, this site really was elevated to the top with, with its strong attributes. Uh, so we, we went through our site readiness program, which is again evaluating the property for its readiness and um, really recognized it's 115.6 acres. 56 of those acres are developable. It is in Gulf County. Um, at Port St. Joe, as you mentioned. There's a, um, the ownership is the St. Joe Joseph's Land and Development Company, which is a, a known developer um, in the region. And uh, they are willing to lease or even sell the, sell the property. Um, it is along Highway 71 North um, and Powerline Road in Port St. Joe. It does have rail on site. The port is three miles away. Uh, as electric provider to the site, we have 12.47 kilovolts on site, ability to serve 2.5 megawatt, megawatts, excuse me, currently with the opportunity to increase that. Um, water, we have a water waste, waste um, excuse me, the, what, the water treatment plant has 1.1 million gallons per day of excess capacity, factoring in allocated capacity and the wastewater treatment plant in the area has 1.1 million gallons per day of excess capacity, factoring in that, that um, factory and allocated as well. Uh, air quality status is, is an attainment and it really positions itself well um, directly off of a main highway with direct access to Interstate 10. So we uh, have promoted that to multiple um, prospects and we're looking forward to continuing to market the site. Yes, another great um, example of the industrial opportunities within Northwest Florida. Yes. 
Danielle, I know a lot of what Duke Energy also does is really supporting our communities. I'd love for you to share a little bit about the work that you're doing um, through your foundation and other efforts to really build up uh, Northwest Florida. Thank you for the opportunity to do that, Jennifer. We have made significant investments in the communities of Gulf, Franklin, and Wakulla counties from our Duke Energy Foundation, supporting educational programs such as our new welding program, and drone programs at the technical and high school levels. Obviously, workforce is extremely important to our economic development efforts and our communities, and we've really tried to focus a lot of those investments in that space. We are also highlighted existing businesses and their successes in their respective industries to market the area further. Our transmission and distribution system upgrades have um, have been an important investment for us as well through our new grid modernization effort. Uh, since 2017, and it'll go through to 2026, uh, our Duke Energy Florida grid modernization plan will total $74.8 million in those three counties, Gulf, Franklin, and Wakulla. The economic impact of those, uh, this investment on those three counties over the 10 years, with Franklin having 36 new jobs created, $3.5 million in labor income. Gulf, Gulf County, 17 jobs, 1.2 million nearly in labor income. And then Wakulla County, 25 jobs, 2.3 million in labor income. We're committed to building a smart energy future at Duke Energy and are really excited to continue to partner with our local communities and regional partners to deliver reliable power to their homes and businesses. I do appreciate the opportunity to highlight some of the attributes and exciting things that we're doing at Duke Energy and thankful for our partnership with Florida's Great Northwest. Yes, and indeed we're thankful for your investment um, in the region and Duke Energy and all that you're doing. So thanks uh, for all of you to, that tuned in for this episode of Broadcasting Northwest Florida. We hope that you'll continue to engage with us and uh, be sure to tune in next week for another episode.